It is now my privilege to introduce Becker College's Chair of the Board of Trustees, Arthur P. J. D. Geronimo. Greetings. Greetings, Dr. Johnson. Greetings, your lovely wife, Michelle. Fellow members of the Board of Trustees, corporators, esteemed faculty, staff, alumni, delegates, neighbors, honored guests, family and friends of the college. I welcome you to the inauguration of Dr. Robert E. Johnson as president of Becker College. We are delighted to have you here with us today. A great day for our institution, and for only the 10th time in our 124-year history, we, we observe the installation of our president. Among those participating in today's inaugural ceremony are several special guests I have the pleasure of introducing at this time. Welcome first Jim McGovern, Congressman Jim McGovern, representing the 3rd Congressional Massachusetts District. Congressman McGovern. We're pleased to have with us today the Lieutenant Governor, Tim Murray, from our own Worcester, from the great Commonwealth of Massachusetts. You'll be hearing from him a bit, bit later, but Dr. Emmett Carson, the CEO of the Silicon Valley Community Foundation, is here with us today. On the stage with me, we have the Becker College Board of Trustees and the Senior Administra Administrative Team of Becker College. And in our audience, we have members of our faculty as well as honored delegates from other institutions. Welcome and thank you all for coming today. I would also like to thank our community leaders who are here today and who are very supportive of and important to our college. Special thanks to those of you who volunteered to serve on the Inauguration Steering Committee and to Norm Peters for chairing that effort. Inaugurations provide a unique opportunity to reflect on our shared history and to celebrate the beginning of the next chapter of this great institution. The foundation of our college does trace back to 1784 when the Massachusetts State Legislature formally established what was then known as Leicester Academy. The founding document of this institution, signed by Revolutionary War, here, Revolutionary War heroes John Hancock and Samuel Adams, outlined the school's aspirations and reason for being. According to the original charter, the institution was established for, and I quote, the purpose of promoting piety and the virtue and for the education of the young. 227 years later, Becker has evolved significantly with more than 1,800 students and faculty from across the country and across the world. Our core mission, though, remains the same, transform lives through education. By promoting not only the intellectual horizons of our students, but also their civic, creative, physical, and spiritual development, we are preparing Becker students for their role as global citizens. We are gathered here today to celebrate the ushering in of a new era. I have had the privilege of working with Dr. Johnson since July of 2010 when he came to Becker. Although this is his first time serving in the role of college president, his impressive breadth of experience, knowledge, and pure talent has, becoming, has become obvious to all of us. I, like many of my colleagues and members of the Becker community, have already been inspired by his leadership, boundless energy, and firm belief and commitment that indeed education transforms lives. On behalf of the entire Becker family, we thank all of you here today for joining us on this auspicious occasion and for sharing us our hopes, our pride, and our vision for the future. Thank you and welcome. <laughs> 